Hi, it's Chantelle from Fiverrific here. In this week's video, we're going to talk about using one of these. This is a Diz. Right there, it's a Diz. A Diz is a concave disc. Now it has a, maybe one or 15 or however many holes drilled into it. A Diz is used to make a sort of a standard width of fiber. Now it can get a bit thin um, as it goes through if you're not careful enough, but generally speaking, you will get the fiber for a specific width. Now, the one trick to remember with a Diz is don't use a hole smaller than what you want your final yarn to be because if there's not enough fiber, there's no way it can make a bigger yarn. So you're better off safer going slightly bigger than what you want than slightly smaller, at least you can adjust it in your spinning process. So today we are going to be dizzing, that's the verb, dizzing this gorgeous bat. This one's from Janet Day from My Spin On Things and it has gorgeous things in it i'll read you the label it says mixed fiber bats containing a selection of fibers wool ranging from corriedale blueface leicester finn english leicester and merino mohair silk hankies mohair sorry silk hankies silk noil silk top milk soy bamboo tinsel and sparkle this particular one has wool silk milk and soy and it is so beautiful and so textured. I don't think you can see it. I'll get a decent photo for it. Today, I'm gonna to be using the Margicraft Brass Diz. It's a gorgeous Diz. I've been using this one for years. It gets a bit fingerprinty, but I don't care. It's a tool. Um, it also comes with this excellent little tiny, I'm gonna, with this little hook. And it's how we feed the Diz. All right, I'm gonna open up this bag. Now, this one's been languishing in my stash for just a little while, um, and I've been wanting to use it, but I haven't. So the magic with bats is that they get bigger. So hang on one sec while I just pop this aside. So I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's already growing. These are not my colors at all, are they? Purples and blues and dark colors and greens. We need to open out our bat. They get rolled up in sort of thirds. So this is it open, you ready? That's one side and that's the other side. What we need to do to diz it is we want to turn this into long thin strands ready to spin. Now this is what's called a soft bat. There's no really, like it's got texture, it's got silk noil texture, but it's got no like massive chunks of stuff. Some bats have got really big chunks of, of tease water and, and really sort of coarser fibers that can't really be drafted out. And they're designed that way for art yarn bats. This is more my style. It's a bit smoother, so I like that. While it's got color and soft texture, it doesn't have hard texture. So I'm gonna be aiming for this one here. We'll try and get everything through that. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna do is we've got our Diz here, and we've got our hook. Now I'm aiming for this second largest of the holes here, this one just here and we'll see how that goes. Sometimes you just have to trial and error and it might not work as well and I might need to go for the thicker hole, but I'm aiming for the second. Now, how we use this Diz is we point the concave side at our fiber and we pull it through. This makes it so all the fiber strands start to bundle together. So with how this particular bat has been created, we might even end up with some fun colors. Okay, so first things first is poke our hook through and we just sort of tease out an end of our bat here. Sort of like drafting. It's a little bit hard on the arms, I'm not gonna lie, it's not super easy. Okay, so we just drop, pull that through the little hole and then this tool can get popped aside. Don't lose it, you're gonna need it. Okay, I'm just gonna move things here so you can see a bit better. And we draft it through. And sometimes you need to pull on the fiber because you don't want it too thick. Because it does make it harder. There we go, thin it out a little. Okay. 
Now, sometimes it's easier with hand combs because they're held onto a, a static point. This isn't so much. You gotta try and keep a, um, a constant width, otherwise the width of your spun yarn will change. You'll need to do a lot more drafting. So see here, I've let it get really thick, so I need to pull it back a little. Draft this out a little, and then push it forward. So the trick is draft it a bit, and push it forward and draft a bit and push it forward now doing this is fun also directly off your drum carter and I find it makes it just a little bit easier but I didn't make this back I bought this gorgeous back from Janet and I wanted to keep it until I had something in mind for it and I kind of do now I mean it's a work in progress in my brain it's not a complete thing and oops there we go draft and push forward and draft and push forward and draft and push forward now I've just noticed I am getting a lot of the stuff at the back more so than the stuff I wanted because I wanted to go in these sort of lines so I just have to consciously make sure I'm grabbing the stuff I want to grab and not just what the Diz is grabbing automatically because that does that too. There we go. Sorry, I went out of camera there for a second. Diz and draft and draft. Now, I'm not sure if you've watched one of my videos before, you will have absolutely heard this. I do say it in pretty well every video. This is something for you to all remember. This is how I do it. Now, I am sure that there are plenty of videos out there teaching all different techniques in how to do things. There's so many different ways to do things. Just because there's a way you've learnt doesn't mean it's the only way to do something. Um, if you're curious about something, give it a try. There's no rules. This is art. This is craft. This is something we're supposed to enjoy. We use our leisure time to do this stuff. If it's not fun or if you don't enjoy the actual process, then you need to find another way so that you can enjoy the process because we're creating and part of the work that we're doing here is the process. And that's the end of the day, yes, you end up with a finished item, whether it's a garment or yarn or whatever it is that you want, a woven thing. But if you're not enjoying how you make it, then it kind of, like if you ask me, it kind of defeats the purpose, really. You know, we've got to enjoy what we're doing because the purpose or the journey is the, the bigger part of this. So if we're not enjoying it, honestly, what are we doing here? You know, there's things in life that we have to do that we don't enjoy, right? Like, I don't know about you, I don't enjoy washing, folding, um, housework of any shape, fashion or form, uh, sweeping, mowing, ironing. <laughs> there's so many things I don't enjoy. And these things have to get done, admittedly, in my household. They don't all get done by me, which is nice. Um, but there's, there's jobs that always have to be done. And this is craft. This is supposed to be our leisure time. So we have to make it enjoyable. Now you can see here, I got a little bit thin and it broke off and that's okay. I'm going to wind this very gently just to keep it together. So we've got most of the blue in one piece and this little nest that's ready for spinning. I mean, technically you can spin straight from a bat. There's no reason that you have to do this. Again, this is my preferred thing. It's not necessarily your preferred thing. So my dog is losing her mind at something. So I'm just gonna give that a tug. Now some bats won't do this as well as others. I do find the smooth bats, um, better behaved for this kind of job but you know there's nothing to say you can't get a diz with a really big hole or make your own like a 
like a bottle cap or something like that and drill a big hole in it and make your own dis for your own purposes because at the end of the day all you're doing is making it from a big fat thing to a little skinny thing and you can either do that just by drafting if you want or you can make it a little bit more controlled by bringing it through a defined circle size which is what I'm doing here. Now you can still see there's still thick and thin coming through a little but it'll mean it's a lot faster and a lot quicker for me when I go to spin this. There's a bit of texture here I'll just spread that back out over the top of the whole thing. There we go. Um, yeah this will just speed up my spinning time so sometimes adding a bit of extra prep time I'm just going to just tear that bit straight off. Sometimes adding in a little bit of extra prep time saves on your spinning time. So it's up to you entirely. This is not one of those you must do this jobs. This is one of those, what do you feel like doing? Do you want to make it dizzed into yarn or dizzed into roving like this? Or do you want to just spin it straight from the back? You know, because then you could spin all the different colors in whatever order you wanted. In this way, I'm doing a row of blue, then I'll do the row of green, and so forth. Um, but, you know, it's like anything. It's your creation. You do it how you want to do it, and that's the end of that. No doubt, I'll go through this all again in another video, because I truly believe these are our craft times. This is our leisure. And even if it's our business, it's still our leisure. I don't know of any person who's gone into the hand dyeing or craft industry who is not interested in this at all. Um, um, look, you know, there's always exceptions to rules. But for the most part, everybody I know in the smaller scale businesses are doing this because they are passionate about the actual craft. So... We all do this for fun as well as for work. So you've got to make it as much fun as possible. Okay, so I'm nearly at the end of this little strip. You just keep doing this for your entire bat. Okay, oops, I've got a bit of a lump. That's all right, he'll go through. And you do it for the entire length of your bat, whether you've stripped it into colors, whether you're just doing it directly from the bat. Here we go, that's it, all done. Now this is ready for spinning. So we've got this one and that one all off just that little strip off the side of the bat. So what did you think of that? Do you think you're going to go out and dizz off a bat? Um, I think it's going to spin up beautifully. I'll get some photos up over the coming weeks of at least it's starting. Let me know what you think. Did you enjoy this video? Do you want more videos about spinning um, preparations or spinning techniques? Um, let me know in the comments down below. Please click like if you liked it. Click subscribe if you haven't done already. And don't forget to add little comments in below, down below. I find them really encouraging. If you want to get your hands on your own Marja Craft Diz, I've got a link in the comments down below. So make sure you go and get your hands on that as well. It's time for you to fill your universe with fibre fun. Off you go. I'll see you next time. Bye.